During their emotional lunch, King Charles and Princess Kate discussed their respective cancer treatments. Hello, before we go any further, kindly subscribe to the channel for more news about the British royal family. During a charming luncheon within Windsor Castle, the monarch and Princess Kate shared a very personal lunch, their spirits connected by their common experience with cancer. The princess confided in her father-in-law, who was a great confidant, and disclosed her diagnosis to him before the public saw her brave fight. Their shared experiences with the sneaky illness strengthened their holy ties to one another. A day before the public learned of the princess's heroic struggle, a secret rendezvous shrouded in emotion took place. Charles recently revealed to the public that he was suffering from cancer. Now, both royals follow the same course of treatment as they battle the unrelenting adversary. The private lunch between the monarch and his beloved daughter-in-law was a unique occasion, according to a person familiar with the circumstances. Knowing that his beloved Catherine had cancer, the king understood the depth of their relationship. Their shared experiences acted as pillars of support, and their conversation flowed as they told stories of their individual journeys. As the king left the moving assembly, his heart was overflowing with emotion. His darling daughter Catherine occupied a particular place in his heart. Their relationship went beyond ranks, and they sought comfort in each other's company throughout the darkest hours of their personal struggles. A statement from the king was made public by Buckingham Palace shortly after the world saw the princess's brave video. He conveyed in those comments his utter admiration in Catherine's steadfast fortitude in exposing her truth to the world. Additionally, he verified that he had been in the closest communication with his beloved daughter-in-law for the past few weeks. In the King's statement of support after Kate's broadcast, he mentioned being in the closest contact with his beloved daughter-in-law, royal expert Jenny Bond said in response to this statement. I was intrigued that he used the term, closest, instead of, close. Unquestionably, cancer has strengthened their already excellent friendship even further. The image of Charles stumbling down the hallway to see Kate when they were both in the hospital is comforting. It is also known that the day following her broadcast, the monarch was moved to tears during their private lunch at Windsor Castle. There are very few individuals with whom a senior royal can confide, knowing that their words will remain secure, Bond stated. I am certain that both Charles and Kate have found solace in being able to discuss their emotions as well as their experiences with chemotherapy and its impact on their well-being. Jenny went on, Kate is obviously not looking for a paternal figure because she has her own father to rely on. Nevertheless, I think she and Charles have actually become close, and he openly expresses his great pride in her. Diana once said that Charles had always wanted a daughter. Let's not forget that. Whether it's at Sandringham or Windsor, he loves his grandchildren and is now spending more time with them. The children must find it especially difficult to understand that their mother and grandfather are ill. But I have no doubt that Charles, like Kate, tries to protect children from this truth and is still a happy grandfather in the close-knit group. I appreciate you staying until the very end. For further updates, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and feel free to leave your comments below.